Why would you ever do this in a dev camp? The whole point of any NHL team's dev camp is for potential players to be able to get better. Players will not be able to get better if they think they are in a place where their safety is not the number one priority of the team. Additionally, it doesn't reflect on the team too well if they can't emphasize that in dev camp, it is not about who can hit the hardest, because that's not really what you're there for. Yes, of course strength in hockey is a big skill, but in dev camp that's not what you need to prove. You're already there. First impressions are good, and I understand that throwing someone on the ice and proving that you can be an enforcer is definitely going to make you stand out, but putting someone in the hospital in a dev camp scrimmage is not what gets you onto a team. Anyways, as soon as I saw this video clip, the first thing that came to mind was the infamous Tom Wilson hit that landed him a 20-game suspension. The reason it came to mind was because it was an absolutely disastrous hit, and you could pretty much see how terrible it was right away, but also, it was in a preseason game. The reason that I wanted to bring up the Tom Wilson hit is because I see a lot of similarities. In both cases, someone was going way too hard in a situation they shouldn't, okay? And secondly, the reaction to the Tom Wilson hit was pretty much unanimously the same by everyone who witnessed it in real time. Basically, the people who saw the Tom Wilson hit agreed that it was a preseason game and he shouldn't really be doing all that much. Because in a preseason game, even though everyone is trying to play their best, you don't expect players to make choices that could potentially endanger other players. Especially because there's nothing on the line. Anyways, that's all I got for you on this. Thanks for watching and remember to like and subscribe.